In the region, the Longdonville community in Trinidad has been thrown into mourning after Pastor Alisa Ali of the St. Michael Divine Healing Tabernacle Spiritual Baptist Church was murdered. 42-year-old Ali, Saturday evening at around 10.30, got into an argument with another religious leader who is believed to have stabbed her multiple times on her face and her upper body. Her children, who heard the commotion, ran into her bedroom and found her bleeding from stab wounds. The suspect, who is a Guyanese national, ran out of the house. The murder was witnessed by Ali's 10-year-old granddaughter, who told police that the suspect used a blue-handled bread knife to stab Ali four times in her chest before plunging it deep into her face. Relatives of the victims allege that the murder was a combination of years of infidelity, deceit, and betrayal. The suspect wanted for murder was arrested by police last evening, hiding out at a friend's home. The bishop is expected to be charged today as the investigation continues. Human rights groups are calling for the release of dozens of people arrested during an anti-government protest in Nicaragua on Sunday. Police said 38 people were detained in the capital, Managua, of which eight have so far been released. The arrest came a day after the police warned that it would not allow any unauthorized protests to go ahead. The Central American nation has been rocked by a wave of anti-government demonstrations since April. This prompted President Ortega on the 20th of September to declare anti-government demonstrations illegal. The president also warned that organizers of unauthorized protests would face charges. The United for Liberty march was one of the first public protests to have been organized since police released a statement on Saturday saying that they would do everything necessary to stop it. And in international news, Sears, the U.S. department store chain that once dominated America's shopping malls, has filed for bankruptcy. Sears Holdings, who also owns Kmart, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on Monday. The company has suffered, along with many other traditional retailers, from rising online competitions from firms such as Amazon. Sears has been closing stores and selling properties as it grapples with death of more than $5 billion. The company employs nearly 90,000 people in the U.S., which is down from 246,000 five years ago. In its heyday, it became America's largest retailer with 3,000 stores nationwide before being overtaken by Walmart in the 1980s. Headline News, BB Backus. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.